Music, music content, content, television, television radio. radio. It's the Arise Festival, where leaders get the platform. The new age, chain breakers are here. especially for, for a couple of years and I'm very interested to actually hear what the discussions are because that's that's one of the, my main things is actually driving discussions and just helping South Africa progress to a new place where we all want to actually see our children one day drive, not just ourselves but, but more our children for me personally. This is Amani Dube, CEO of Secrets Investments, a digital marketing company that focuses on moving South African small businesses to digital platforms. I have an exciting opportunity for you. I'd like to help five companies grow. Here's how. I'll personally assist them draft or polish their profile. Secondly, help source funding for them. And third, create a responsive website. If you're interested in this opportunity, please email Amani at seacrestinv.co.za with a brief description of your company, your company registration, and contact details. Let's help each other grow. Let's go digital. Get a, a good sense of you know, who I am and what we hope to achieve from the session. It will be interactive. Um, so once you get a little bit more about you know, what you guys are expecting to get from the session, what do you hope to extract from a knowledge base also guide me as a moderator to, you know, to make sure we dig deep and to make sure you get a quality, quality content from the sessions. Um, so again, my name is Lou Voyomani. I wear many hats. Uh, as a moderator today, I represent um, Youth Economic Alliance as a vice president, also the chairperson of the Youth Portfolio Committee, for the Black Business Council. Um, I am an MD of my consulting company, YD Solutions, which is project management and strategy development for agri and energy projects. Um, so if you don't mind, I'd like to get to know you. My name is Chabal Mtebu. Uh, I'm part of the ZIS technical team. Uh, I'm a pilot, a private pilot, and a commercial pilot. Uh, I'm here with my team today to present the, the tools that we use uh, for our diagnosis tool uh, with our labels. So I think, yeah. My name is Tammy. I'm just here to learn and explore new things, um, just to get a, like, a lot of information so I can change how I think in my business side. Yeah. Morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Mashori. I am here to gather some information on the marketing side of my business as it's not doing so well. Thank you so much. Good morning everyone. Um, I'm Tato Maroha. Um, I'm here as the Youth in Business South Africa <coughs> Secretary for Housing. I just that we are also MD for a small company um, group where we're starting in property. We only have two properties for now, but hoping to grow soon. Um, I'm also a nine to fiver for for UJ, where I work as a conference producer and technical manager. Great smart minds in corporate, um, in great businesses, people who are transitioning. 
people are looking to grow, to scale, to learn. Um, and I really do hope we can actually meet all of your needs in today's session. Um, you know, I always like to ask this question, you know, what is entrepreneurship? I always get a, a mixed bag of answers. So who would like to volunteer to that question? What is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur for me will be someone who follows that purpose and gives back and offers something of social significance. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. an entrepreneur is, for my side, I think it's creating opportunities while at the same time uh, creating a financial structure as an individual. If I can put it that way. But I feel as if it's creating opportunities for others in order for you to grow as well as a person in the business side. Okay. Yeah. What is an entrepreneur? I'd rather explain what entrepreneurship is. Go for it. Um, entrepreneurship is a spiritual journey where someone establishes a need um, or a gap. They would usually say in the market that I say in the world. And they solve that um, you know, need by coming up with something innovative, something different, you know, something that has never been done, and address that need. And the, at the cornerstone of it, they're also looking to make money. So I'll give you my definition. It encompasses purpose. It encompasses finance. It does encompass an element of spiritual alignment. Um, but I do like to try to simplify it. Right? So I always define an entrepreneur as a person who's able to identify a problem and develop a solution as of commercial value. Right? So that addresses profit. You'll never amount to anything. You're crazy. You're not realistic. You work too hard. You're bipolar. You're too cocky. You're all about the money. You're not who you used to be. If you allow the world to label you, the list will be long. The social entrepreneur and extends that, and it shows that that commercial value extends to developing communities and societies around you. Right. <clears throat> so I always like to consider myself as a social entrepreneur, because whilst I have a, a great appetite for profit, I have a greater appetite for growing my society and community around myself. But what is a social entrepreneur? Social entrepreneurs are individuals with innovative ideas to solve the world's most pressing social problems. They do that by creating new products, systems, and solutions to help change people's lives. They have an ability to see and seize opportunities, and then they take those opportunities and they have the passion and drive to go after those solutions, which also means that they have the ability to take on the risk that that entails. So I think, you know, there's such an important gap and value for entrepreneurs because you have an opportunity to create jobs, your opportunity to change your country, uh, and potentially the world, depending on your extent of passion and drive. So I think there's a, an important role an entrepreneur can play in society, uh, and the economy at large, right? So I've been reading a lot of papers, uh, potentially from the World Economic Forum, around how entrepreneurship has changed societies. I mean, in Africa, mostly of your Real entrepreneurs are women-led and owned, um, particularly in mid-Central Africa. Um, your markets are driven by African women. Um, these are women who are both agricultural, they're, they're very, very savvy in terms of money, um, because they need, need a drive. It's not just about money, it's one, the survival, but there's the families. Um, as you know, in this country and in the continent, most of households are run by women. Um, so there's a much deeper drive that comes from them just going out there and solving societal problems and ultimately their own economic problems. Uh, and they're doing it well. However, there is a shift 
and a slight difference between a survivalist and an entrepreneur. Uh, I think given that, you know, unfortunately jobs are not everywhere, um, some are forced into entrepreneurship or survivalism. Uh, but given the option, they would rather a job. Because to be quite honest, the life of an entrepreneur is not sexy, it's not cool. Um, you're chasing invoices, you're chasing bills, uh, sleepless nights, um, your work week doesn't end. Um, without risk, there's no reward. So there's a huge opportunity, obviously, and it's not for everyone. Um, there's always this thing I'm going to say around those in corporate that, you know, there's no need for one to always leave. Um, in corporate, there's a huge opportunity for entrepreneurship uh, by being entrepreneurial in your divisions. Um, how are you creating new divisions? How are you creating new spaces, uh, leveraging the big corporates you represent um, to create new economic divisions? So we've seen this happening in the banking space, and I'll unpack that around you know, the evolution of the digital economy. I'll unpack it in that session and how the different banks have, have um, applied themselves and kind of evolved over time. I'm glad we've got banks represented here. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll speak to how industry has evolved over time. We'll speak to how there has been some very innovative solutions driven by corporate and some of your out and out entrepreneurs as well. Uh, everyone, um, my name is Amani Nukunagube, the host of today. Thank you so much for making it out today. We are very, very hopeful that today is going to be a very informative and exciting day for everyone, especially the entrepreneurs that I see around here. Um, quick background about my company, um, Sequest Investments, which is the one hosting the Idara. Um, it's a digital marketing agency. Um, I'm the CEO and founder, um, and with really the challenges that we found um, from last year with the whole COVID situation, and realizing how everything can just literally just stop, and there were job losses, so many things that had happened, um, and that's when this idea formulated. Um, to have conversations on how we can really move forward post-COVID, and be inclusive in the economy and moving forward. I am um, a very big, big lover of uh, the 4IR and understanding and engaging in those things they are for. And that's part of the reason why we uh, have the digital um, transformation um, panel as well and entrepreneurship. We will be hosting more of these, um, focusing on mining and energy, so it's going to be topical each and every session. Um, so that's just the gist of it. Um, I'd like to thank our partners, uh, Workshop 17, for hosting us today. And she, uh, our beautiful, lovely <laughs> lady here, Yonena, will be uh, telling you more about um, the hub, which I would suggest and recommend to entrepreneurs. It's a beautiful space to work in. Thank you.